It is that time of year when people who can travel south for fun in the sun leave the rest of us here to carry on the important work of keeping Delmarva going. In tonight's travels, Charlie recommends yet another alternative form of travel. This one requires a little imagination and a mill pond. Of all the means of travel afforded the wandering kind, the one with the most fascination is the journey that travels through time. In a way, you can still go back to that time when things were slow, and the water wheel's sole direction was scattered through that strange reflection of the sunlight as it glances and on earthly objects dances in a mysterious cascade of light that both captivates and confuses sight. Fortunately, many of these old mill ponds have been turned into parks available to anyone from morning until dark. No, I did. Watch me, I, I knocked it down. Watch me, I knocked the tree down. You're going to knock the tree down, okay. Yes, the big one. I missed. I missed the tree down. Wow. It's running one. Where the children's laughter at the edge of night is carried to the future on beams of light. Oh my. Are they always like this? Where someday they'll be reminded of these days by then, long gone, by the reflections of the water in the old mill pond. Traveling through time, but always coming back here is Charles Paparella for WBOC News. Now, if you live on Delmarva, there's probably an old mill pond within 10 miles of where you live. And Charlie has it on good authority that any pond of any size on the peninsula was created to run a mill two or three centuries ago. We'll be right back. <laughs> 